Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. That's a beautiful beach right there. Makes me thirsty setting out here in the sun. Let's see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Devil's Backbone. This is their Schwartz beer, a German style black lager. And it's, uh, wait, wait, Beer Advocate says this is 4.9, but it's got 5.1 right here on the label, so I'm going to kind of believe this one, I'm going to believe them. Uh, they're just up the, the road here a couple hours. Uh, we just did the beer, uh, Brewtopia, Beertopia, uh, 2013 over this past weekend guys and they were there uh, I got to say hi to all of them uh, they do some good work up there guys I've been there uh, been to both places the old place and the new place and they're usually putting a date on the neck here but I do not see it with all the condensation I'm sure it's probably there we're gonna wait and double check it when we get back but they've been they've been putting uh, putting the writing on their stuff here lately so uh, Hopefully they got one on this one too. This is a sports beer, like I said, summer availability. Glass wire, I mean the food pairs of this, it says German. It's a German sports beer, so all you German foods. But of course this is a light, it's a black lager, but it's a, a lower, lighter, summer type beer. If you like a little darker beer, but not the heavy beer, this is probably what you'll like. This is probably going to have some chocolatey notes, and it's going to have some, I don't know, we're, uh, the sports beers have more of an earthy hot presence uh, normally than uh, than your real piney grapefruity type stuff. So uh, we'll see where this one ends up, guys. Glassware, food, pills in your glass of poker. I got this is my pills in a glass, and not recommended for extended cellaring. You want to drink this up this summer and not prolong it, not put it in the cellar because it's a lower ABV beer. I'm not saying this could go bad, but I wouldn't want to be drinking this a couple years from now. So let's get this one in the glass. And see what it's about. We're gonna go down the side because it looks like it's gonna produce a big head here. Very dark coming out of the bottle. Looks like a black lager, does it not? Absolutely. Over into the light, yes, it's a rich ruby color. As it gets thicker in the glass, right up underneath the head, I'm not getting a lot of light. But down in the bottom, I'm getting, I can see right through it. I can see the bowl through the bottom of it. So, fairly clear in thin amounts. Once the glass gets thicker, it gets more opaque. You can't see through it. So. Looks good in the glass, guys. We got us a, about a half finger of head now that I've been flapping my gums. Looks very good. Let's get a nose on it. There, 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 the earthy hops is there. I am getting some caramel, little chocolate there. A little caramel. Might be a good summertime lawnmower beer if you like a darker style. So this may compete with Guinness. What do you think? Let's give it a hit. Cheers, everybody. Very tasty. Definitely the earthy hops in this. There is no piney, no grapefruitiness. It's more, it's a little bit of smokiness there, a little woodiness there. Very nice. This is right out of the fridge too. I'm, I'm on the fence on, on, on this, like the, the lager and stuff. I like my lagers ice cold. But when you go to the black lager style, I mean, it's a lot of roasted malt and, and caramel and coffee and toffee and chocolate. And a lot of that stuff's not going to come out when it's ice cold right, right out of the fridge. Uh, you gotta actually need to let it warm up. So, you got to balance. Uh, there's a fine line there. And, you, and my palate has changed a lot. I mean, it used to be if the beer wasn't ice cold back when I was drinking the macro lagers, 
Don't even hand it to me, man. I don't want to, I ain't drinking no warm beer, but now the porters in the south. So I start off with them chilled, but time if they're done, uh, 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how big they are. I mean, in the bigger ones, above 10%. Sometimes it'll take 45 minutes to drink those, and they and they change a lot. Quite often they'll they'll get a they'll get a lot more boozy, but they'll get a lot more flavor. The chocolate comes out, and the coffee and all that comes out. So very nice, very tasty. Go back to the other half, taste it like I always do. We'll come back and do the final chug on this one. I'm probably not gonna save it too long, 15 minutes or so tops, and I'll be right back. Stick around. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left. This is delicious. For a lager, which I'm not a big fan of, this is a very tasty, a lot of chocolatiness in this. Uh, very light, very sessionable, very easy drinking. Available down here at the local grocery store. Not that expensive. Very delicious. Final chug. Would be very nice with a cigar. Oh yeah. Chocolate. A little bit of smokiness. Caramel, roasted malt. A little earthiness from the hops. Delicious, guys. You got a winner as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we were going to look for a date, and it says right here in black. We need to keep those guys go to yellow. But right here, and it says boned on March 8th, 2013. Or April, May, June. So we're three months out on this one. Uh, still tastes delicious. Uh, I wish it was a little bit fresher than that, but. It is what it is, so uh, as long as it's got the date on there. And it wasn't cold when I bought it, so, you know, because I could see that uh, and say that. But when you got the condensation on it, when it comes out of that 40 degree fridge and it sets out here and it's 80, 82 degrees, which I haven't, I haven't had to air on here today, but uh, it sweats profusely and you can't read that stuff on there. So it's got it on there, so that makes it a winner as far as I'm concerned. Guys, I'm going to give it to 8, which is A minus. I think it's an A beer. I'm a little prejudiced <laughs> toward these guys. I think they do great work. <clears throat> I consider them a local brewery too. They're only two hours up the road. Nice bunch of guys. Got a great brew pub type deal going on there where they brew the beer. You can go in there and they got a bar set up there and you can sample what they make. So. Very, very nice motorcycle ride up there, and we enjoy going up there and drinking some beer. So, guys, if you can get this stuff, uh, uh, they're expanding and getting bigger all the time. So, uh, the distribution is going to get bigger. I see where they're, they're, they've only been going up there a year or so, and they're already expanding already. So, uh, they're uh, receiving uh, high marks, and they've won some medals at the GABF the last time they were out there. Guys, know what they were doing and made some great stuff. They had all the events. Thumbs up on that, guys. I do some great stuff. I enjoy coming up there. I enjoy drinking your beers and reviewing them because they're usually winners. So That being said, guys, if you've had it, give me some comments back on this one. Uh, Break Beer has 80 overall and 89 in the style. And Beer Advocate says 87, which is very good. And I agree. It is very good. I'm not a lager fan, but I could drink this. This, this will be a, a more tastier lime more beer to me because of the darker, uh, richer malt they use on this. Guys, without rounding on anymore, hit the like button, you need a shirt, let me know, and let's go look in the fridge tomorrow. See you then.